I'm Alan Bresnik from Lyre Reading. We're here in New Orleans at SCT Cable Tech Expo. I'm speaking to Jonathan Davidson from Cisco. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Alan. Good to have you here. Great to be here. Sure. Um, the demand for services has evolved as the networks have evolved very dramatically over the last couple of years. What is Cisco's role in all that and where do you see things going? You know, our, our cable operators have, have made some pretty fundamental changes over the last several years, right. especially. Right. You know, going from 25 years ago when we were starting off with cable up until now, we've seen significant architectural transition mm -hmm. from deploying traditional CMTS to CCAP, now to cloud native CCAP. Many of our cable customers are also have an MVNO or their MNOs as well. Right. And so we've seen the need to have consistency of services between the, the cable access technology as well as now mobile technology. Mm -hmm. And of course with the advent of 5G, how that plays into that architectural transition as well. Mm -hmm. And then of course, what we're talking about here at this event, which is what's happening with 10G and how 5G, 10G, and even Wi-Fi 6 can all come together to enable new service opportunities for our cable customers. So customers are still looking to Cisco for guidance. What are the big innovations that you're looking at today? Well, uh, customers have a need to be able to put more than one service across their infrastructure. So mm -hmm. in the past, obviously, we had the triple play of services going across cable. Right. Uh, but we can now use that same infrastructure, especially as they're moving to uh, DAA, to be able to go and actually now put mobile backhaul, front hall services across that infrastructure. Mm -hmm. There's a need for low latency services across that same infrastructure uh, because the type of services not only that our cable customers need are not just focused to the consumer, mm -hmm. but they're also able to deliver services to small, medium businesses, as well as even to some of the, the larger mid-market and enterprise customers as well. So that new service offering requires a completely new infrastructure, and Cisco's innovating and continue to drive towards Doxus 4.0 and 10G to help our customers realize the vision to service those end customers' requirements, whether the consumer, small, medium business, or, or even into the enterprise. Good. Why should cable operators be excited about the future, and what's Cisco's role in playing that future? Well, cable operators should absolutely be excited about what's happening in the future. First of all, consumers continue to drive just phenomenal demand. Mm -hmm. The second part is that everyone's talking about new mobile services, especially around 5G, but mobile networks actually aren't mobile for very long. They very quickly get down into the wired infrastructure. Right. So there's an opportunity for the cable companies globally to be able to go and harness the power of their wired infrastructure to either provide backhaul services to other operators mm -hmm. or to actually go and offer their own MO type services as well. There's also a whole new set of services that are coming out that are going to leverage the phenomenal capacity that they not only have now, but also that they'll have with Doxus 4.0 and 10G coming down the line mm -hmm. that will transform the consumer experiences for things like gaming or for being able to watch real time sports. Uh, will truly try for these new phenomenal experiences can only be generated across these kind of cable networks. Cool. Are we going to see the Star Trek Hall deck anytime soon? I, I, I look as a fan of uh -huh. both Star Trek and Star Wars. I hope all of those technologies come to bear, and I get to see it within my lifetime. But absolutely, we're going to see augmented reality, virtual mm -hmm. reality, uh, and also the kind of mass consumerization of mass personalization of services are absolutely coming down the pipe. Okay, Jonathan, thanks for your time. Thank you. It was sure. a pleasure.